You know, you always hear Christians talk about things that they don't like as being unnatural and therefore bad. But they seem awfully inconsistent when it comes to which unnatural things they choose to allow and which they choose to forbid. Since that's the case, I find arguments based around whether something is or is not natural to be rather disingenuous. But here's a video made by a Catholic guy, and he says that condoms are evil. Now let's see if he can come up with a better argument. Okay, Catholics, so here is the deal. Check it on out. Condoms are evil because the church says so. Have you been inhaling the Pope's smoke? Condoms are in conflict with natural law, number one, because you weren't born with a condom on. You don't need one. If you needed one, you would have been born with one. You weren't born with shoes. Are you wearing shoes? And number two, because condoms remove something that is naturally part of the sexual act. Condoms remove the procreative component from the sexual act. Effectively, it distorts the sexual act by removing a component naturally found in the sexual act. It is naturally a part of the sexual act. By removing it, you distort or pervert the act. So any sex that's not procreative, any sex that's engaged in simply for the purpose of pleasure is bad. The reasoning here seems to be that since sex is a means of reproduction, it should only be a means of reproduction. You know, Gandhi used to say something analogous to this about food, and he basically used the same logic. He said, we eat to live, we don't live to eat. He believed that all kinds of problems arise when people eat for pleasure as opposed to eating primarily for survival. Now, um, how can I say this delicately? Uh, this guy doesn't look like he shares Gandhi's dietary philosophy. Not that he's fat necessarily, he looks like he's just probably really muscular. Either way, he would not look the way he does if he ate solely for the purpose of survival. In fact, I've never heard one single Christian make the argument that since eating is for survival, eating should only be for survival, and that you should never eat just for pleasure. So if you're allowed to eat for reasons other than just survival, why aren't you allowed to have sex for reasons other than just reproduction? You may argue that having sex for reasons other than reproduction causes health problems. But when you look at the diseases that cause the most deaths, in the Western world anyway, they tend to be diseases closely linked to overeating. Or in other words, they are the result of people eating for reasons other than just survival. But while Catholics love to tell you about the dangers of having sex for pleasure, none of them tell you about the dangers of eating for pleasure. So I just don't buy it when they make the argument that you shouldn't have sex for pleasure because it's bad for you. People don't just use condoms, though, to avoid getting pregnant. They also use condoms to protect themselves against sexually transmitted infections. Now, that doesn't mean that condom use is okay. I mean, a lot of people are going to argue, well, if I'm protecting myself against diseases that may kill me, why is it a bad thing? Well, it's a bad thing because if people are adhering to Catholic teaching on sexuality, they wouldn't have to worry about diseases. This argument shows me that you worry more about keeping people from having sex in ways that you don't like than you worry about people getting disease. Because what do you really think is more effective at preventing the spread of HIV? Giving people condoms or giving them a lecture about the Bible? The fact that you hate extramarital sex more than you hate AIDS should be enough to keep anybody with a conscience from reacting with anything but disgust at the idea that your religion is a source of moral guidance. 